Welcome back to the channel for another college TF review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Legacy Evolution Core Class Nemesis Prime. And this guy is fantastic. Really great repaint of that uh, originally Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime mold. Well, I'll be sure to bring out for a comparison later in the video. Um, I got mine over from All Time Toy Store. Check out the link in the description below to pick up yours. As always, please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Keeps these reviews coming. So before we get started with Prime himself, let's take a look packaging. It's our standard legacy packaging. See some cool artwork on the side and Prime on the back. Prime on the side. Nothing on the bottom that you need to care about. You get instructions. And originally if you take if you saw my uh, original video of Prime, um, you'll see that in the artwork for those instructions he does have an axe and it does show him using the axe and not the gun. And so now we know why because they have been planning the Nemesis Prime mold from the beginning. So now he has an axe. Now I am disappointed that um, he doesn't, Nemesis Prime does not come with the standard Iron Blaster. So Nemesis Prime comes with the axe and standard Prime comes with the blaster. Um, still cool that we get both accessories, but I would have liked to see, you know, the axe in a orange repaint for Optimus later down the line. But this does show you everything you need to know. Um, different storage method for the axe. So pretty cool. So let's bring in Nemesis Prime. Here he is. He looks fantastic. They did a great job with paint apps. Um, you know, just being all black, they didn't need to invest as much money into the paint application uh, budget. So they, you know, used it, I would say, in the best places on this guy as compared to, you know, Optus Prime, who overall, I mean, I love that figure, but of course, you know, he's definitely missing a few paint apps here and there, especially in the belt region, but this guy is fully decked out because, you know, otherwise he's all black. So they did the wheel rims, look fantastic. I'd really like this update on the uh, Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime or the Legacy version. They painted those wheel rooms. Just looks so nice. Very nice red chest there. Nice metallic blue on the waist. Some silver throughout. Nice Decepticon logo there. Purple. Very nicely painted face sculpt. Very nice. Just like Kingdom Core. You have that nice silver mask. Red eyes. Now there's no silver paint down here, which is on the um, standard Optimus Prime, but I would have I would have liked to see that on this guy too. But it still works. I mean, it does make his legs look like big black blocks. Um, but the silver on the wheels does help with that as well. Nice in the back too. They even included some sculpting on this mold. Fantastic mold. I think one of the best little Optimus Prime mainline Optimus Primes we've gotten from Hasbro. Very nice figure. You can see his Energon axe here. Looks great. Nice shiny blue matching his waist. And it does just tab in, port in via the three millimeter, three millimeter port on the back of his hand there. So very neat. Bring him in for comparison with your standard prime. Let's give him his Energon axe back. Comparison of accessories. Here is Standard Core Class Optimus Prime, Nemesis Prime. There you can see the difference in paint apps. So you'll notice that Nemesis does not have the little silver part of the grill painted on him. Whereas, you know, Optimus doesn't have like any yellow or you know, Nemesis has that blue paint on the waist. Optimus does not have any of that. And then Optimus has the silver on the legs, whereas um, Nemesis does not. And then we'll get them both into truck mode as well. So you can just see the differences there. I think this guy's truck mode actually looks better with the because of the silver rim painting. So there you go. And of course, you know, the molds are the same. They are identical, but then they do get different weapons, right? So Optimus has his, his Iron Blaster and Nemesis has his ax. And you could of course swap weapons between the two if you wanted to. So you could give Optimus a blue Energon ax that, which, I mean, it works if you want to do that. And you could give Nemesis the Ion Blaster. Have them each facing off in battle with different weapons, if you so choose. I think it's fun to give them some different looks. Very nice. Now, I have already done articulation for this guy, but I will redo it um, just so you did not see my other video. You'll have a chance, but definitely check out that video. Does it, go, it does go a little more in depth 
into um, full class Optimus Prime and its features, but so articulation exactly the same as before. So you do have a swivel joint on the head, which only goes side to side, not too bad. They did seem, at least on my copy, um, the head joint here for transformation is much stiffer. So that is nice to see. Um, then we do get, because of transformation, kind of this backwards half butterfly rock there. Then there is a ball joint at shoulder to so go out all the way, full 360 around, then elbow 90 for transformation, as well as, of course, articulation, and then full 360 spin at the elbow there as well. And then nothing at the waist in terms of waist articulation, though you can kind of exploit the transformation joint and you can get them crunching to that degree. So that's pretty awesome. You would like to use that. And then he does you know, kick forward very nicely. Very little back kibble, so he can kick back all the way, either in between that wheel piece or just out to the side. Then you can do the full splits there. 90, a little past 90 at the knee. And then it does also rotate at the upper knee on that ball joint. And then nothing at the ankles. So definitely pretty tricked out for articulation for such a tiny little figure. Um, and very playable, it's very easy to pose. You know, those big blocky feet though don't look the best in truck mode definitely are worthwhile um, in robot mode for posing. You can get them into some pretty neat action poses, especially if, if you use that, kind of exploit the transformation joint there for um, an ab crunch. So that is that. So I'll get this guy transformed up as well as Optimus so we can take a look at them in their truck modes. If you want to see the transformation, check out my other video on Kingdom Colossus Optimus Prime. And here he is all transformed into his flat-fronted truck, semi-truck. Looks really good. See all the paint apps now on the front of the truck. Looks really good. I like the blue for the headlights. Lots of nice silver paint on the front. The red windshields look great. The silver wheels look great. Very nice. The only other paint apps I would like to see on the truck, I would say, um, this section being gray is a little annoying, so it would have been nice if that was black. And then also painting the marker lights up top would have been nice as well as adding in some tail lights on the bottom of the feet, but of course they're not going to do that because you risk paint scraping. So otherwise, pretty good. And then of course, maybe the silver on the shins would have been nice. So then in terms of weapon storage, you can take the axe and you have two different ways you can store it. You can store it uh, whoops, on the back there. Slightly combusted prime. <laughs> so you can store it on the bed like that. Either way, you know, just using that trailer hitch. And then the other way you can store it, which is kind of interesting, is it has these slots on the sides here, up top, and there are little tabs up top on the top of the shoulders there, and you just kind of open them up a little bit, insert the X, and close it together. If you do it right, it should hold the X in, no problem. There we go. Whoops. Now he's not cooperating. Come on, Prime. Don't be my nemesis. There we go. It actually kind of goes more into that upper upper tab. So there we go. Less in like that. It does actually just kind of rest. So there it is. So the cutouts are right here. Apologies. Right there on each side. Those are the cutouts. It does just kind of slide into place. And then you can just squeeze it together. It does hold pretty well, definitely holds pretty well. And it actually stores pretty compactly, I will say, for a fairly bulky weapon. So you can store it like that. Um, and then it also, if you want to use the Energon Dion Blaster with Prime, you could use it with Nemesis. You could tab it onto the side, but that's never worked very well. I'm on the original release too. That little side tab doesn't really work. So you can just store it um, on the bed instead and you can store both weapons on either Prime and rolling in the, core, the standard Core Optimus Prime release. You can see them side by side. Give him his gun. Take the axe off too. You can just see differences in paint applications here for the two. So you see the silver rims on Nemesis, where it's just no paint on those wheels. Optimus. There's the front. Same amount of paint. Actually, Nemesis has a little bit less paint than Optimus in this case because he doesn't have that little silver bit on the top. And then everything else is largely the same, just different plastic mold colors. 
So as you can see, overall Nemesis, I think in total paint volume probably is less than Core Class Optimus, but the way they distributed the paint, I think works really, really well. It looks exceptional. And for the price point, these guys are definitely a ton of fun. They both roll really well. Now I will say I did have one tiny little issue with this wheel. It wouldn't roll super well out of the package. It would still roll, just not really well. So I just, you know, it's really easy to just pop them out. Um, and I just trimmed it off with a little X-Acto tab or X-Acto knife, just trimmed the tab a little bit so that it rolled freely. And now we're all good. They can both roll out, battle, face off. So definitely recommend these Kingdom Core and now Legacy Core Class releases. The Core Class lineup is awesome. Uh, that's how I got into Transformers originally was with some of those Transformers Prime uh, Legion figures. Those were awesome and I'm glad to see them keeping these awesome figures coming. So definitely check out the links in the description below. Be sure to leave a big thumbs up for me and I'll catch you in the next video. See you then.